All right, guys, I just wanted to take a second and show you the prep for the final weld on these wheels, on this wheel widening project. So I have the, the wheel set up in the jig here and we'll come in here and look real quick. So in the initial build, I just butted the band to the rim and it's really flush and tight. It looks really good, but uh, to get a good weld, Good weld penetration. I did some practicing on a, a extra wheel that I had and it was just stacking up on top really hard. I wasn't super confident in the penetration. I, th I think it would have worked well. Uh, it worked satisfactorily but I wanted to really look good so I jigged up the wheel all this wheel already on the on the inside seam and I ran the grinder down it and hopefully you can see there you go with the grass in the back and you can see how much was coved out there um, by the grinder and so I'll, I'll be I'm set up to do it on this spot here now or on this seam and what I'll do is I'll I'll grind between the, the tack welds to create this trough and then I'll come in and do a new tack weld and then grind out the old ones so that there's um, that the mating surfaces are the same on uh, on this. For example, this is where an old tack weld was. So I came through and I did the trough. In the trough, I did this weld, and then I ground out the old tack weld. So when I uh, shoot the video for the final weld, it'll just be burning along here in this nice trough. When I get to one of these, it's already a full penetration weld, and I can just roll over it and keep going. So that's a close up of the inside of this sucker um, or the outside of the sucker anyway the inside super good seam right now but it's still a seam uh, I haven't decided yet how to deal with that I think probably I'm going to braise it and just try to flow in kind of like flux or solder on a pipe fill that fill that void and then sand it smooth before powder coating but I I need to phone a friend, get a little professional help on that first.